Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're playing Phantom Forces, and we are going to be using the Cole SMG 633, or for short, people just say Cole SMG. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys my attachments real fast. As you guys can see here, I have the reflex sight for my optic. The optic is personal preference. For the barrel, I have muscle brake, under barrel, folding grip, other full stock, and ammo is plus B. Now, one thing to know about this gun is that its recoil is kind of like crazy, but also at the same time, this setup makes the recoil more manageable. And to be honest, you could use the same setup without plus P. It still work probably around the same thing, but also at the same time, I like my damage, so I went with plus P. That's about all I have to say about the gun, and I think it's better to show you guys gameplay of the setup versus just talking about the setup. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go and get in game and show it off. Now we're playing on Blizzard, which is not necessarily the closest range map, but it has some close quarter areas. So that's where this gun definitely dominates. I didn't expect to get killed that fast, to be honest with you. Another thing to know about this gun as well, I think I just cut myself off. Like, I, I one encounter that I get into, it completely wipes my brain. I have no idea what I'm talking about anymore sometimes. One thing about this gun as well, though, is when you aim and fire, it has that bullet jump, is what I'm going to call it, where, you, where the first bullet of your magazine jumps up. So it's like, if I fire at this, I'm more than likely I'm going to be shooting the blue. Ready? And basically all it did was this bullet made it jump that high. So that's something to know and keep in mind when you're using a gun like this. I say test all your guns to see if they have that. If they have that, then just aim a little bit lower than what you're used to. As an example, if I aim right down there, I got him. I shot below him and I jumped up to him. So that's, that's all I'm doing. Are they all just camping out in that room? Alright, there's someone up here. We're gonna go say hello. Oh, pistol, 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 pistol. No! To be fair, in that encounter, I was not very I was not very prepared for two people to be up there. I thought it was one. Oh man, that aim. Ooh, ooh, the recoil hurt. Alright, we're gonna retry it. Well, retrying that encounter it definitely worked out. No you, sir, no you, no you. If you want my honest opinion on the gun, it it slaps. Like this gun, it is it, it definitely hits hard. My only issue with it is, it's an SMG, so you gotta treat it like an SMG. Do not try to play with this gun in long range encounters, okay? Unless you're able to aim and somehow manage the recoil better than I can, then by all means, if you can do that, go ahead. You do in long range encounters, but also at the same time, you know, it's like you know, like the recoil kind of is crazy be honest i would go for long range encounters regardless of me saying what i just said just because i have plus p on for that reason if i wanted to stick to close quarter engagements i probably would have just slapped on hollow point but in all honesty i like my range better so that's why i slapped that on to the cool smg you know i gotta try firing this gun long range just to see how it looks but at the same time i don't want to die and we'll try it right here why not we're gonna be aiming over there i'm gonna try to control the recoil or not you know that's fine i'll just i'll, I'll die okay here we go now we can try it uh can I see the... No, of course I can't. The game would be too easy if I could see the bullet hole on the wall over there. There we go. I mean, it's a mess, but it's possible, I guess. Like, it, it really is bad at long range, but it's possible. Maybe I should have just slapped on hollow point, honestly. I think that might be the only other thing that might work with this gun, but also at the same time, I really like plus P. And I don't have enough credits or enough kills for a hollow point either, though, so... If you guys do a hollow point setup, I may not have the right setup for you guys, but with plus P, this is definitely the best recoil setup that you can have on it. I checked every single attachment from muzzle to barrel to you, you just name it. Like I, I checked all the attachments and I tried my best combinations for side accuracy. Also, part of me for, it feels like I forgot to mention that I have full stock on here, but yeah, I have full stock on my gun. I don't know if I remember, like I don't, I can't remember if I mentioned that or not. Okay, you know what? Range sometimes works. So range sometimes works, as long as you aim. But yeah, I actually started to use this gun and started to make a video on it because you guys in the comments recommended it on my last Phantom Forces video. If you guys want to see a setup or build from me on a gun that you like, leave the gun in the comments below, or even tell me a setup too that you're interested in, and I can play around with it and see if I like it and stuff. I'll make a video on it, maybe. Maybe. But so far, I really like the cool SMG. It feels like it slaps real hard, but you just gotta be in the right sort of combat situation for it to work i feel like but it does slap it does slap again i think if you took off plus p on this setup it would be very good still regardless and i feel like the only other thing that would also work is maybe a setup around hollow point but then again if you're using a hollow point at that point you're probably going in for a more close quarter setup anyways 
this setup is kind of like, I don't know, when I was making this setup, I was thinking of what can I do to give this gun the most range while also making it slap at close quarters and just, I don't know, making it slap with a recoil too. It just, I want it to slap. I want it to be, I, I just want it to dome people. I want it to be great. The Colt SMG in general just feels like it has a ton of recoil regardless, but it is very fun to play around with. All right, they're kind of sticking up the sides of my team, so hopefully we'll be able to push them off or I'll just die off spawn. That's cool too. You know, whatever. I'll take it. Down to 3 HP and a dream. Wall bang. I didn't even see the blue thing above his head until it was too late. I gotta say, that was probably the best thing ever. I just spawned right into the line of fire, and the next thing you know, I get 3 HP and a dream. I better be careful. I can hear people running all around me. Goodbye. That was a sniper. There's no point in me fighting that anymore. Okay. Can you not? Can you not? Thank you. Also, how do you guys like my camo? It's a green marble that's like with a pastel green on it. Ah! Okay, I don't like this either. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I want to go home. Ugh. Sometimes it slaps, but sometimes it doesn't. I gotta remember about the shooting below them thing. I'm too used to just kind of like shooting at people and it, and it working. I forget about the bounce that it has to do when you fire at their feet and then it bounces up to their torso sort of thing. I gotta remember that. I gotta get that drilled into my head because most guns in this game are starting to do that now. When I say most guns, I mean most guns that I'm currently using. And that doesn't mean like literally most guns in the game do that. But there are some that I use that definitely have that initial jump with the first bullet fired in a magazine. This is kind of a better map. As long as I get past all the snipers and LMGs in the middle of the map, I think it's all right. Uh, there's someone over there who's going to be chasing me around the map. What? Or not. Goodbye, sir. Oh, there's another person coming this way. Don't, don't hear my footsteps, please. Oh, you heard my footsteps, but goodbye. That's below me. I was hearing like some weird footsteps like right next to me. Is this staircase here? Goodbye. Goodbye. Ah, oh, no. Was that a headshot? Oh, wow. <laughs> I got one deed from 50 studs away by a deagle. Nice. Oh, that would have been so good. Oh, okay. You know what? That was my own fault. I lasered three people and then I couldn't pick it up after that for some reason. It's all me. It's all me. Just gotta get my head in the game. Ouch. That wasn't very nice. Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get too. Oh, that's a grenade though. Right there. Oh. Uh, what? You mean you tell me that I killed a guy running around with a grenade and he cooked it for so long that it landed right next to me and my two other teammates and it blew all three of us up? Understandable. You know, it's, it's whatever. I'll take it. I'll take it. Win some, you lose some. I'm so sorry that you guys just got annihilated like that. I I apologize. You too. Goodbye. Not you, please. Not you. I'm just kidding. It was a prank. It was a prank. The camera. The camera's right there. Please stop. You too. Holy. Who's firing at me? You want some too? I mean, well, you know what? You can only kill so many of them, I guess. But as you guys can see, especially in close quarters, the Colt SMG definitely does hit the hardest. I mean, that's like to be expected. It's an SMG. Most SMGs are like that, to be honest. The reason why I have plus P, I like more damage at certain ranges. That's about it. I, if I'm hitting my shots at long range with the cool SMG, I want to be rewarded for being able to hit shots at long range with the cool SMG. If you want my honest recommendations, though, I recommend going for a hollow point and making your own no recoil setup on the hollow point. That's that's the issue. And if you guys want to know how to do that, just go for the best number for sight accuracy. Howdy. Hello, my friend. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't even realize that there was someone laying on the floor for a little bit, and then he just lasered me. But yeah, that's that's one ammo type. I mean, I am using plus P, and no ammo type also works with this setup, too, I would assume. I haven't tried it without plus P, but then again, plus P, it's, it's basically the same gun with just better range and more recoil is all it is. That's all the ammo type really does for these type of guns that from my experience. So I'm assuming that you would get a lot better recoil with a little bit less damage range, and then you'd have practically a very similar... Cool SMG, but with better recoil and a little bit less damage range. Even in medium quarters, though, this cool SMG can really hit hard. As long as you're doing the shooting at their feet sort of thing. I deleted that guy that walked up to the top, but I couldn't get the other guy. I was out of ammo. 
but yeah medium quarters is really good for this gun same with close quarters but long range is where it gets a little bit mm, i don't know man oh that was like a perfect jump that i had right there as long as you're aiming at the floor man aim at the floor when you first fire that first bullet let me tell you i'm running i'm running i'm running that guy's gonna peek around the corner i'm like who did that and i'm gonna come back or not i'm running this way instead No, you. Oh, my teammates are coming behind him now. That works. I heard him. I heard him way down there. That guy heard me, though. Oh, hello. What? Oh, they're all behind me. Okay, that's scary. Oh, my goodness gracious. You know what? I take it back. Long range can even do some really crazy things in this game. He ducked under all my bullets. Now I have to run away and run back. Aww. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys want my setup one more time, it's the reflex sight optic. It's the muzzle brake for barrel, holding grip for under barrel, full stock for other, and plus P for ammo. And with all that, you get a sight accuracy of 29. That's the best sight accuracy I could get it to. If you guys can make it better, let me know. It's probably going to be without plus P or hollow point, though. I can tell you guys that much. <laughs> But yeah, again, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I had a blast playing with the cool SMG. You guys have told me to play with it in the comments. If you guys want to tell me the other guns to play with or make setups for or builds with, or if you want to even recommend your own build or setup on a gun, let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to see more content like this one, leave a like. Again, leave a comment if you want to see more of the same content, as well as if you guys want to know more about me and see more of me, you guys can hit the subscribe button. And if you guys want to get notified for my content, hit that notification bell. Can't wait to see you guys in the next one. I love you all. Bye-bye.